Hi everyone, this is Amber and as promised, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on the look that I did over the weekend when I went out with my boyfriend and I will also be applying the HD Fly Up Beauty Color foundation set on myself rather than my friend this time and I just wanted to see how it looks and um, yeah, let's just get started so first, the primer and the Makeup BB Primer This is the product that I bought last week and I am totally loving it so far It's from Giorgio Armani and I think it's something called Fluid Finish or Fluid Foundation Primer I'm not sure but it looks something like this and it's in the shade number 2 It's like kind of has like a gold beige color with um, light shimmers in them apply it like a little bit on the bridge of my nose and uh, yeah some on my t-zone my forehead some on my chin and some on my lower eyelids I'm going to be using the Ipsa Concealer Palette and yeah, it looks like this it comes in three different shades It's actually um, something new that I got last week as well because um, I heard so many great reviews on it I'm just going to use the second lightest shade on the bottom And then I'm gonna use the lighter shade in the middle and draw like a bigger V. I'm just gonna highlight the T zone, some on my forehead, and some on my lower eyelids. I just finished applying the compact powder This might seem like a lot of stuff on your face and very heavy It's just like the heat is just crazy here and you just have to really set your makeup very well Apply the NARS uh, bronzing powder in Laguna Take any highlighting powder and I'm using the Dior uh, Illuminating Powder Gently dab and just dab a little bit on the bridge of your nose Some here And some here I am using the Kate Designing eyebrow palette I got this new blush last week and it's the shade boys don't cry from the Pierre Hardy for NARS collection and The packaging looks like this. This is how the color looks. It's very very pretty. It's it's a dark uh, pinkish color with subtle gold shimmers in them and it's extremely pigmented looks like this so it's just extremely pigmented I'm just gonna sweep off a little bit on some napkins and just gently Sweep across my cheeks. This is also another product that I bought last week. It's a new uh, eyebrow pencil from Kate. It's called uh, the Kate Lasting Eyebrow Pencil. I 
And because my hair color is actually dark brown, so I'm going to go over it and fill in anything in areas with the Miss Hanna eyebrow liner in dark brown. Use the other end, the brush end, and just brush the hairs. Take the other end of the Kate eyebrow liner that you used before, and after you twist the other end, and this is what it looks like, and just gently dab on the tip of your eyebrow. Again, the color is a little too light for my hair color, so I'm just going over it with um, the lightest shade from the Integrate Eyebrow Palette. I'm gonna set my eyebrows with a eyebrow mascara, and I'm using the Kate one and the lightest shade, uh, BE1. And it looks like this. After I'm gonna take that shade and just apply it to my crease. an angled uh, eyeshadow brush and apply that color from the 1028 brownie palette then I'm going to take a small blending brush from the same palette, the 1028 one blend the outer one third of your of your eyes. Take the sleek eyeshadow palette and snapshot and apply the car the color martini on your brow bones. Next, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and apply the color Snake Bite on the outer corner of my lower lash line, just one third of it. Then I'm going to apply Half Baked generously all over my lower eyelids. Then I'm going to apply the shade Woody Call around the inner corner of my eyes. Next, I'm going to apply this um, gold beige color on my uh, lower waterline. I'm going to apply the false lashes. It's the new Paris Honey collection from Ms. Bobo that just came out this summer. And the style number is P4 and it looks like this. For the last part of the eyes, I am going to apply the Ms. Bobo double eyelid tape. I rarely, rarely wear eyelid tapes because I actually do have quite obvious uh, double eyelids, but it seems as if some people still don't really understand the tutorial that I did last time just by explaining through pictures. So I will be applying them today. If you take it out from the box, it looks like this. I peel off 
two pieces. Looks like this. I don't want to get too close or it's going to go out of focus. So as I mentioned in my last uh, vlog entry, I mentioned that to save this box, don't throw it away because you're going to need it. So what I do is, I use a tweezer and gently peel off the net from the film. So peel it off like this. And then open up the box that you saved before and just set it on the plastic and apply a thick layer of the glue. Make sure you don't wait till it completely dries, otherwise it's not going to be sticking anymore. I just finished applying the double eyelid tape and this is what my, my eyes look like. That's it for today's tutorial and I hope you liked it, enjoyed it, and found it helpful. And if you'd like to purchase any of the products that I used in this video, you can go to beautychamber.bigcartel.com. That's actually my online beauty shop. And um, yeah, most of the products will be listed on there. And you can also join my Facebook page. That will be very helpful, <laughs> showing me your support. Thank you for watching, and until next time.